hey guys welcome back to my channel this is mansa queen this is a much requested video i'm going to be sharing with you my pots and pans that i use some of them you must have already seen them on my videos and some of them you do not get to see so if you would like to see my pots and pan sets stay tuned <music> We're going to start with this set right here. This is my 12 piece Retro Ray Cucina cookware set. And it comes in these different pots. So this is my pan. And this is a 10 inch pan. These are all nonstick. And can you see how glossy and clean it looks? And this is my first also colored um, pans that I got. Because I usually just stay with neutrals like a stainless steel or just black but i really like this color because if you know me you know that i love teal so i had to get this i was reluctant about the care because i don't want the color changing but i will let you know at some point in this video how i take care of them and as you can see you don't see any marks on them and they also have this rubberized handles which is very good because it does not get hot so you can hold it and this is the smaller um, pan. I absolutely love this set. This right here <laughs> is my little pot that I use to boil eggs. Because my kids don't eat eggs. So it's just me and my husband. So I use this. It's just a one quart. So it's very little. So it's good for like boiling eggs. Or sometimes just boiling smaller quantities of vegetables. Yes, like carrots and peas. I can just throw them in there. So it's very handy and they all have this um glass lids this is a bigger size of the pot and i love it it is a three quart yes it's a three quart and um this is the biggest size yes i use this for a lot of stuff for pastas for a whole bunch of stuff and as you can see i have had this set for i think over a year now maybe a little less than a year but they're old they still look brand new and i got them from jc penis they're currently out of stock i just checked before posting this video they're currently out of stock but um i believe you can also get it from macy's here in the u.s this is probably one of the pots that i use the most i like how wide the surface area is i love it it's ideal for a lot of dishes and it's also a tree quart but the way the shape is you can actually put a lot more in it i love it the large surface area makes it um very handy all right so that is my set and i because i really loved it i had to go back and get this one yes this is also a rachel ray walk it did not come with the set so i had to go buy this separately and i got this particular one from macy's and it is very handy. I love it. Oh my goodness. I use it quite a bit. You must have seen it in a lot of my videos. And it's completely nonstick. It also has the rubberized handles. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's also Rachel Ray. And I have had no problems with it. Now this came with it. This was a defect. And I almost wanted to return it. But I'm like no. I don't have to return it. That doesn't <laughs> So I kept it and I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that it's, it has a lid. This is my only covered wok that I have. So I am in love with it. And while we're still talking about woks, this is my second wok that I got. I actually just got this like a couple of weeks ago and I've only used it once. I got this from Walmart. It's a 13.75 inches wok and it's easy cleanup and it hits quickly and evenly it's very light actually and i just love how it is um because you know when you use a wok for like your stir fries and fried rice you're cooking in high temperature so um i like it light and i like the fact that it has this wooden handles i actually love that about it it does not have a lid but that's fine usually woks do not come with a lid that's why i love the blue one that i showed you um previously because that one has a lid this is another favorite right here i got the stainless steel um pan from mesa's and it has this lid as well this glass lid absolutely love it 
it, I was so reluctant to buy this. It was on the cheaper side, so I was so skeptical. But man, I have had this for maybe about three years or more. You can see from the back that um, it has a lot of stains, but for the price I got it for and everything I use it for, it has really stood the test of time. So I absolutely love it. And here is my stainless steel pot. And this is a newer pot. I've actually never used it. Thinking about it, I've never used it. <laughs> yes, I got this from Ross. I cannot remember how much it was though. I got it from Ross and um, I love it. I've never used it like I said, but it feels really sturdy. And I can't wait to start using it and see um, how well it does. But I like the fact that it has a lid. I just like the construction of the pot. It feels really sturdy. It feels um, actually expensive. But it was not expensive. It might have been a little less than $50. Maybe $40. Okay. This is my oldest set I got. And this is my T-Fal um, non-stick pots and pans. This set is at least four years old. Yes, I have had it for the longest time and they are still holding up tightly. This is their 10 inch pan, I believe. Yes, this is the biggest size of the pan. And um, um, you can see from the back that it's been used quite a bit. <laughs> I do not have any plans of letting go of this. This is the smallest pot that it came with. It's also ideal for um, eggs. And I like the fact that it, they all have the vent to let out steam. Yeah, still very nonstick and very sturdy. T-Fal is a great brand. I love T-Fal. When you're getting your pots and pans, they might be very expensive at the beginning. But see it as an investment. Because you're going to use them for a long time as opposed to buying cheaper ones and keep replacing them every year so yes that's a good tip now if you are african no matter where you live if you're african and you don't have some of these calderos some of these pots man where are you at what are you doing to yourself <laughs> this is my smallest size and this is what it looks like i have them in three sizes as you can see and the small size can actually take quite a bit. I can cook soups here as long as it's not for a lot of people. This is the medium size and it is the most used. All those marks you see in there, those are from jollof rice. <laughs> like CCM said, that is what gives you that smoky jollof taste. Because if you don't get that bottom pot, you know, the bottom pot, Kim. Hmm, that's the best part. Fala chef be up naked. Trust me. <laughs> this is my jollof pot when I'm cooking for just my family. I use it a lot. A lot. I absolutely love it. And I got these from my local African store here in my city. This is my biggest pot. And this, when I'm cooking for like an event, when I this can take 12 US cups of rice. I can cook 12 cups of rice. In this pot and that will fill up a full aluminum foil pan party size yes so this is my measuring um, pot when I, I know that when I cook rice all the way to the top 12 cups I'm gonna be able to fill up one aluminum foil pan the big foil pan of rice so yes this is my African pot I love them I do not mess with them <laughs> Moving on, I also have this pot. I think I showed you guys when I got it from Burlington. This pot was only about, I think $17. And it is so big. It's really big. And it has this glass lid with the vent hole. I love it. I so love it. It is nonstick, easy to clean. I also like to cook fried rice in here because it's light enough. And it's nonstick. I use it to make my soups, my stews. I use it for a lot of stuff. And that's the brand right there. It's a cheaper brand, but it has been working really perfectly for me. And I love it. It was not expensive at all. And next, in an African home, you know we cook meat and uh, cow feed and all of that quite a bit. So this is my stove top pressure pot yes and this is a bella brand i got it from macy's i have had it quite a bit so this is a good alternative 
for um, an Instapot. If you don't have an Instapot, you can just get you a stovetop pressure cooker and trust me guys, it will cut down your cooking time considerably. And I love the fact that it has that rubber thingy for grip. That way when you lock it, it just contains all the steam in there. This is, I cannot remember how much I got this for. I've had it quite a bit, but yeah, I got it from Macy's and this is what it looks like. Moving on to my favorites. Oh my goodness. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions in my comment section about these pots. Yes, this is my cast iron pot. It is by Tramontina. If you know about cast iron, you know that they tend to be very, very heavy and more expensive. Yes, but I found that this particular brand, by the way, I got it from Sam's Club, was very comparable to their bigger name brands that you would get from Macy's. And this is the seven quarts. Yes, this is seven quarts. So it's actually very big. And can you see the inside? It is so gorgeous. It is so thick and heavy. First time I got this pot, my hubby was like, what are you doing with this pot? She was scared of me putting it on the glass stove top. I'm like, boo, it's going to be fine. <laughs> but yeah, this has been an absolute favorite. It is really heavy, really sturdy. And it just cooks evenly. Once it heats up, it takes a while to heat up because it's so heavy. But once it heats up, you get the even distribution all through. And you just turn your um heat down i cook on low heat whenever i'm using my cast irons and you can also use it in the oven you guys i love this so much i had to go get me a second one yes <laughs> and of course it had to be blue i was looking for something more teal but i couldn't find it but i love this color as well they're both the same size the only difference is the color And while I was filming this particular shot, I got this in the mail. And it's another cast iron. <laughs> Guys, I wanted a smaller size. Yes, and I went ahead and got me this set. It is actually a three-piece cast iron set. Yes, enamel cast iron Dutch oven. So we're just going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Yes, this first piece right here is my skillet oh okay it came with a rubber a rubberized handle that you can attach to the actual handle to help with the heat that way you can actually hold it instead of using their your glove so yeah that's actually good and this is what it looks like it's a 10 inch slash 25 centimeters yes that's what it looks like and it's really really heavy i love it i love it 10 inches so it came with this and you can actually attach it like that. That way, instead of using um, your oven gloves, you can just use that and protect your hands. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, it also has this sprout, so it's for easy pouring. That way you're not making a mess. I also like the two handles, the long and short handles, yes. And moving on, we're going to open up the big box. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is my 5.5 quarts. And that takes 5.2 liters. Yes, this is 5.2 liters. And wow, I can already tell that it has a difference. Look at that. The knob is different from my previous ones. I love that because it does not get hot. Yes, I can. I can already tell the difference. Okay, I love that about it. And it also comes very well packaged. And this is really heavy. You you guys already know about cast iron. So they put all these things to protect it from breaking. And this is what it looks like. And it's everything that I was hoping for and more. I like it because of how wide it is. Now with the seven quarts that I have, they are a lot deeper than they're wide. So I like the fact that this is wider. Yes, this is going to give me a lot of room to make a lot of fun stuff. I cannot wait to start using it. Yeah, so as you can see, I've put them together. And you can actually see the difference 
between the seven chords and the five. Yes, this is what it looks like, guys. I absolutely love it. How many times have I said it? <laughs> and this is my other skillet that I have. And you can see that it looks a lot more shiny. And I'm going to tell you in a second what's going on here. Now, when you get it from the store when you get it new it tells you that it's pre-season which just means that um they have already gone ahead to rub it with oil onto the surface but when i get mine now you can already tell the difference between the two right you can see how glossy my older one is and how dull the new one is so once I get the new one washed nicely with warm water and soap, I'm going to go ahead and season it. I'm going to go ahead and season it. And I do this each time I use my pot and also when they're new. So if you look at the care instructions, it tells you right there that although the enamel coating on your cookware does not require seasoning, we recommend seasoning the vessel rim and lid rim where the cast iron is exposed season by lightly rubbing cooking oil onto the surface yes that's exactly what i do it also tells you to heat it up but i don't all i do is once i wash it and dry it i take my oil olive oil whatever oil you have vegetable oil any type of cooking oil and i just make sure i put it on the paper towel and rub it all around this will keep it nice and shiny and rust free The Gambians in the house, how many of you guys had these pots growing up? Now, in Gambia, though, my mom always used it just to serve food. I never knew that you could use this to cook. I actually always find them in the pots and pans section, and I was always like, why are they in the pots and pans? But they are actually pots. <laughs> I have never, for once, used them to cook anything. I only use them to put food on the table, and that's about it. I don't use them to cook, but it actually tells you that um, it's safe for gas stoves, electric stoves, and a whole bunch of stuff, but I have never used it to cook. I'm just going to be honest with you. I just use it to pretty much like food storage. That's it. Just to put food on the table. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you've ever used any of these to cook. I got them from Ross, by the way. And this is how I store some of my pots and pans to keep them from scratching and getting damaged. And you can watch the video on my kitchen organization. I will put a link in the description box and somewhere on the screen as well. Another good tip to care for your pots and pans is using the appropriate cooking utensils. Yes, do not use stainless steel cooking utensils on your non-stick pots and pans because it's going to scratch them so just be mindful of those and you will get your pots and pans lasting longer and use the same care for your cleaning products as well i use this brush to scrub on stuff that are not um, non-stick and I also use the iron scourer for my calderos now this one I love it for stainless steel because it does not scratch it I get them from the Dollar Tree and they come already with soap so all you need to do is add some water you could get a pack of 10 for only a dollar yes and these are my sponges I just use my sponge to wash my non-stick pants now a must-have for your cleaning is baking soda yes baking soda and some dish soap can take out a lot of stains on your pots especially your color pots both inside and outside this is a tip that i was going to share with you and this is how i keep my teal pots free of any discoloration yes so this is all i had for you guys in this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video until then stay safe